Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is me, Rima. Hi guys, I'm Emily. And I'm Sushant. And guys, me, Sushant, and Emily today, I think we're on an SRK Kajol spree because we just checked out, I don't know when that video is going to drop, but we just checked out Gerua and that was beautiful. In fact, so beautiful that we are now like scampering to find out was this real, <laughs> the locations or not. Yeah. So um, we are planning to do a BTS, uh, like just looking at the BTS footage of the song. Yeah. But we also have another request and this is perfect because I think Emily has not seen too much of this couple, SRK and Kajol, the, the golden romantic couple uh, on at least a real couple on um, cinema or Bollywood celluloid. Mm -hmm. And so this is a request from our ER Gold Plus member, Badam. Hey, Badam, how you doing? Hello. Thank we you. Hope, we hope you're pronouncing your name right. <laughs> but <laughs> So Badam said, uh, so many, I am obsessed with SRK Kajol, but maybe these two for now. So Badam had given us two options. Mm -hmm. One was Zarasa Jum Lume, but this is a YRF song. So I think that most likely might get blocked because they're a bit... Uh, they're not so permissive about people reacting to their songs. So we're going to go with uh, Ye Larka Hai Allah. This is from K3G or Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum, iconic romantic film. Um, and again, you're going to see SRK and Kajol Emily. So guys, let's just check this out. One, mm -hmm. two, three, go. There she is. And there's also Rani Mukherjee, by the way, another actress. Star studded movie. And this is Amitabh Bachchan, the guy in white. Legendary and Jaya Bachchan. Wow. <laughs> a lot of them. It's a wedding song. Beautiful. Everyone's a beautiful. Nostalgia. <laughs> His energy throughout this movie is incredible. Oh, that's Love his outfit, huh? So good. All right, she's like, I'm not gonna step back. Oh, it's a dance off now. Yeah. It's a beautiful color of yellow. It looks really nice. Her side of things is so colorful. Yeah. So guys, we'll do a translation of the lyrics at the end because there are no subtitles, but yeah. It's the comedy king, Johnny Lever. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> uh, that is beautiful. Right? Oh, they're getting a, they have a theme going, huh? A little bit of dance, fun <laughs> All the kids Jewelry too, it's just runs into him. Uh oh. Oh no, how cute and awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's leading in. Yeah. Oh, look at that intensity he's giving her. <laughs> and that's smolder. So oh no, much. and they tied it together. Oh my god. 
They're like you guys could never get into, you know, unentangled. And she's like, me, and he says, me too. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, so Emily, doing a bit of a lyric translation. We won't get to everything, but just some of the stuff. So she says, he starts by singing, Banno ki uh, mehendi, uh, wait. Banno ki mehendi kya kehna, Banno ka joda kya kehna. So he's saying, the bride's henna is wonderful. Bride's wedding dress is wonderful. Mm. They talk about the bride. And then it goes to, Banno ki saheli, resham ki dori. Chup chup ke sharmaye deke chori chori. So that's when he starts talking about Kajol or the, the girl in yellow. Uh, the bride's friend is like a rope of silk. Secretly, she blushes and looks hidingly, or I guess, I don't know, secretly. That's what, mm. you know, the translation. Uh, whether she agrees or not, I'm dying for her. Oh God, this girl. Oh my God, this girl. So. Oh, wow. Those are good lyrics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of playful banter. And then the girl goes into Babul ki galiana, chad ke jana, pagal divana, isko samchana. So she goes into the streets of my father's house. I'll never leave them. This crazy person, make him understand. <laughs> Uh, look here, he's totally following me. Oh God, this guy! Oh God, this guy! Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't sound oh, so great, but I think it's more like the flirty. Are you sure that's great right lyrics? I, I I think it's I think it's weird. Like I think the, in the translation, it it seems a little bit more like I think the delivery is a little more playful. But I will say, yeah. 90 Shah Khan has a tendency to be overly persistent with when it's yeah. romantically chasing people. So this is early 2000s. It's a little different. Yeah, I think at that back then it was more like, you know, you persuade her, you go after her, eventually she will agree, you know, but I think in this way, in, in this one, I think she's actually kind of hinting at kind of liking him, but still being sort of hesitant. So it's it's sort of in the middle, uh, because it goes on to say whether the lips say it or not, the eyes say it all, love doesn't hide, I'm trying to hide it, my friend, whatever, <laughs> like, yeah, so there's a lot of like flirtatiousness. Yeah, you partially your reading too, because you went, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, god, he's he's <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, because when I think about watching it, we were totally into each other. But then hearing you read it, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I know, I'm just reading it mechanically. I should have probably gone in the song format. Oh, Lord, no, oh, hi, oh, oh my God, oh my God. Cause, yeah, because cause like when it's like, hi Allah, it's like, oh my God. Like it's it's not like an oh my God. It's more like. Yeah, no, no. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just reading it, guys. I was sort of not <laughs> thinking much about the effect or delivery. But yeah, yeah. it's more like, oh my God, like oh my <laughs> I'm God. trying to redeem oh, myself. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> yeah, a, a bit like that. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. So this was um and last thoughts, Sushant. I mean, did did we actually talk about this, Sushant? Did you get a chance yeah. to I mean what were your thoughts? I, I I like that movie, like 
every song amazing first off but also just yeah. like with this too like I love the playful energy between them. It's almost like a bit of a dance off his crew versus her crew. They're already at a wedding. Right. The set is beautiful. And it's like, it seems like a great place for like, I don't know, sparks to fly. So, and we, yeah. And the energy of the song. Fantastic. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Emily, your thoughts. Yeah. It's a very cheerful, happy environment. Same like with the sparks flying, you can totally mm-hmm. see that these two people are into each other. Huge right. wedding too. I mean, mm-hmm. like, wow. Yeah, you got an opportunity to have a real party there. <laughs> I mean, it was, yeah. but then the other thing I think about is like, you know, at an American wedding, sometimes it's like, it's a big thing to not upstage the, mm. the bride and groom. So yeah. is that a thing? <laughs> Only if it's Bollywood, then I guess it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like it, I feel like in Bollywood movies, you could see them getting upstaged all the time. Like at that point, yeah, like it's it's like, oh, it's your sister's wedding. It's not really about your sister anymore. It's about this new love story. Like that's very typical, I think. But I I, 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 I get your point though. In real weddings, I don't know if that happens. I'm not sure. Because I've heard people be like, be like, I'm pregnant, but I'm not going to announce it because it's my yeah. friend's wedding. Sure. Yeah. And so like, to see these guys have a full dance number. It's just very <laughs> different. But, it, but I mean, I was, I loved it as an audience member. I was like, yeah, let's go. And the, the sister approves. And also like what I noticed too, it wasn't just like any dance number or anything. Like even in the yeah. lyrics, like so much of it, like so much of like the professing of love, like in Bollywood and yeah. especially in that song, like, is tied to God, you know, in many ways. Like, Mm. it's not just, like, the sarcastic, like, oh, my God, in the chorus, but there are other lines in which, like, they're referring to how, like, the Lord knows or the Lord is making this happen. Mm. And it's, like, yeah, how can how can my wedding now upstage this a godly profession of love like what 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 do what can i do at this point yeah because i think sushant the thing you're referring to is like at one point she says that joria banti hai rub se. like it's kind of like you know like matches are made in heaven mm-hmm. and so but but i do think that there is a different ethos i think with indian weddings because it's so much about the family more than just the bride and groom mm-hmm. um so I feel like a lot of times your family plans your whole wedding mm-hmm. and it's usually the case of the groom's family and the bride's family coming together to orchestrate this. So like you have things like the Sangeet, which is kind of this version is a Sangeet, mm-hmm. uh, but in a Muslim wedding, which is actually quite rare. You don't see often Muslim weddings being depicted in Indian cinema, but um, in this case, like it's part of that celebration. Like you put up a show to entertain the audience Mm. and uh, this is sort of part of it. Like, so even if they are shining, it's kind of like you're trying to cheer everybody up by your singing and your dancing. So it's all festive. It was moving the story along because they had the ending where they were saying, I accept. And Mm -hmm. that added a cute little button to the end of the song. It was very sweet. Right, right. And I think it's mostly also the case where at least the depiction in Indian Indian films is that the bride is often very shy. So she's mm-hmm. not always like on the day of her wedding, she's sort of like shy, she's a bit subdued, she's not talking as much, even though she looks gorgeous. So it's mm-hmm. like people just kind of surrounding her and making her feel comfortable, Which, so to speak. Is- Right. It's yeah. so amazing in comparison because some people will literally have weddings in America where the bride will be called like the bridezilla because yeah, she's yeah. Like, <laughs> I was gonna get to yeah. <laughs> it's just it's so it's so different. It's so incredible. But to be to be fair, like I think modern day, uh, maybe with with like independent couples or couples that are independently wealthy, they might be going more towards the Western type where they organize their wedding. They want to have it their way, particularly, I think if there are people getting married in America, like Mm -hmm. Indian Americans in the U S they tend to maybe be more in charge of their wedding, but in India, it's still more of a family. For sure. 100%. Interesting. I learned so much. Thank you. (laughs) Every episode I'm like, my friends are so smart. (laughs) <laughs> no we love it i mean i think i think we also get that perspective from you just to contrast you know uh, american weddings versus versus indian ones and and definitely i think it would be nice to see at some point if we can like look at the differences a bit further um yeah uh, but guys yeah so this was i think our reaction to uh ye larka hai allah and again a big uh thank you to badam i hope it's not badam but if it's badam <laughs> badam thank you you are the bomb Woo. you are the bomb. i love that good love job that. yeah that that sounds way better <laughs> so, <laughs> so 
thank you to our AR Gold Plus member on Patreon. And guys, if you want us to do your exclusive request, just like we did for Badam, do consider joining on Patreon. And like I was saying, I think in the other video, we're planning to do a Q&A. So if you are a Patreon Gold Plus member or an AR Gold member on YouTube, uh, we will take your questions and give you a shout out. Uh, so do consider it. And uh, all our socials are down below. We will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.